there's nothing wrong with your sound. This is a uh, demonstration of the properties of blotter paper. So to show you what it is, how it works, and why you need it. And I'll let the uh, I'll let my pen do my talking for me. This is what happens when you don't have blotter paper handy. And this is what happens when you do. Found pen ink uh, dries more slowly than regular ink. And uh, you have to keep that in mind when you're writing with a fountain pen. Uh, if you don't have a sheet of blotter paper handy whenever you're writing, and then it turns out you've got to close your notebook in a hurry. You know, here comes somebody. I don't want them to see what I'm writing. You close your notebook and that ink is going to transfer to the next page. And it's probably going to smear on the page it's already on. So you don't want to do that. Um, there are times when you just have to get up and go. You know, you're writing something and, uh, oh, it's time to go. You got to You got to get up and leave. But you don't want to have your writing sitting open. For other people to read it so you want to close your notebook close it with a blotter sheet in between the pages and then leave it you can walk away at that point and the ink won't transfer to the other page it won't smear and it'll probably be all dry by the time you get back wherever you go so have blotter paper handy uh, there are more time you're going to need it more times than you think you will now, you get it from a, an art supply store, okay? You get it from an art supply store. It uh, comes in a, they're, they're usually uh, stacks of drawers that are uh, thin drawers, and they've got all kinds of art paper in it. And one of those drawers is going to be labeled blotter paper. So you open that drawer, get out a sheet of blotter paper. It's going to be big. It's going to be 40 inches by 24 inches or 40 inches by 30 inches, something like that. It's a huge sheet of paper. Uh, it's slightly thicker than um, cardstock. And uh, it's got some interesting texture. You know, it, it's not smooth when you look at it. Uh, but uh, you're going to take that blotter sheet up to the cash register. It's going to cost you about five bucks. Um, and... Uh, when you take it home, transport it flat. You know, don't, don't, uh, roll, you're going to be tempted to scroll it, you know, roll it up into a scroll. Don't do that. Um, uh, you know, it, it makes it harder to use later on. So keep it, keep it, uh, flat as, you, as flat as you can. And then when you get it home, uh, stand it up behind a dresser or something like that so that it's, uh, it's not rolled up. It, it doesn't have to be flat on the floor, but, it, you know, it doesn't, you don't want it to, to curl up much because uh, that makes it harder to use the bigger sheets when you use those, when you cut them down to size. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to get it home. You're going to cut it to various sizes. Um, you know, uh, if you write in a notebook, it's good to have, with your fountain pen, it's good to have a sheet of blotter paper that fits it um, so that you can close that notebook in a hurry and uh, not to uh, not disturb your writing uh, you can also have uh, smaller pieces that uh, fit in your pocket uh, your hip pocket or your purse um, if you're if you're going to write away from home you need to have uh, a blotter sheet with you 
because you just never know when you're absolutely positively going to have to blot that ink. Uh, you know, you, you'd like to be able to, uh, you'd like to be able to leave the ink exposed to the air so that it dries on its own. Ideally, that's what you want to do. So every time that you can do that, do that. Uh, once in a while, you have to get up in a hurry. You have to go someplace. You don't have time to wait for it to dry naturally. So you have to put a blotter sheet on there. Rub the back of it. Then it's, then it's dry. You know, you can even run your finger across it and uh, you'll see that it's dry. And then you can leave it. You can put the notebook away, close it. You're not going to transfer ink to another sheet. But you have to have blotter paper. Uh, if you don't, you're going to find uh, smeared ink on your pages on a regular basis. And uh, you don't want that. It, uh, it mars your uh, pretty paper that you're going to be writing on. Um, one thing, though. Uh, the last two times I went to the art supply store to buy uh, uh, blotter paper, uh, I didn't get blotter paper. I thought I got blotter paper. The drawer said blotter paper. When I pulled the sheet out of the drawer, there was marked blotter paper. So naturally, I thought I had blotter paper. But alas, I did not. And um, I discovered this belatedly. Otherwise, I would have taken the thing back and gotten a refund or gotten an exchange for real blotter paper. But um, let me show, let's do a demonstration. Let's do a demonstration. I got the eyedropper out just to do this. So let's go ahead and do this demo. Uh, when you get home with your big sheet of blotter paper, cut something small like this size, you know, like pocket size. Take an eyedropper and put one drop of ink on a sheet of paper that's not very absorbent. This is Clairefontaine paper and it should not absorb the ink very much. One drop, that's all you need. This is the paper that was sold to me as uh, blotter paper. It came in a regular size sheet, so it was disguised as blotter paper, but it, it isn't blotter paper, because if it were blotter paper, and I were to stick this corner down into that drop of ink, the ink would wick up into the sheet of blotter paper. But when I put it in that drop of ink, nothing happens. There's, a, there's like a little mark of ink on it. It's like a speck. But this is blotter paper. This is this is the real thing, and you can see I've I've already tested it, so it, you know you know it works. But I'm going to show you again because this is the first time you're going to see it. I'm going to put that right in that drop of ink, and it wicks the ink right off of the page. It's almost dry. A little bit more rubbing, and that baby's dry. So, uh, that's blotter paper. You've got to have it. Um, make sure you get blotter paper. If you don't, if it's, if it's, you know, some other kind of paper, but not blotter paper, and you've been had, take it back to the store and say, this isn't blotter paper. Um, and, uh, you know, tell them what you did to find out. You put a drop of ink and you tried to absorb that ink in the, in the blotter sheet and nothing absorbed. It's not blotter paper if it doesn't. Soak that ink right up like this. Okay, hey, that's blotter paper.